Hans Kavya Sri Krishna Murthy and Health Festival. I am representing Skala Kapal's Anima that is Paribhuta Bara for this book review competition. I am grateful to be provided with the opportunities to present in front of all of you. As the eldest child in the family, I am no stranger to consume the world that surrounds me. The world of books provides me an escape from my hectic life. I love reading books as it can relieve my stress. There are many benefits of reading books such as improving vocabulary and increasing your knowledge. Although there are many types of books such as science fiction, non-fiction, fairy tales and thrillers. My favorite genres are horror and mystery. Today I'd like to share with you a brief review of one such book that is titled The Rabbit Whiskers. It is a book authored by Annette Blyden and illustrated by Sylvie Jean Taylor. This 192 fictional book was published by Bouncing Bo Octopus in 2014. The author Annie Blyden was an English theater writer whose book has been among the world's best sellers since the 1930s, selling more than 600 million copies. Blyden's books are still enormously popular and have been translated into 90 languages. As of June 2018, Blyden is in the fourth place for the most translated author. She wrote on a wide range of topics, including education, nature history, fantasy, mystery, and mythical narrative, and is the best remembered for her books titled Nodi, Famous Five, Secret Seven, and of course, Melody Tower. In the Karibu that I'm reviewing, there are seven primary characters, namely Ho Ho, Sanguru, Rupi, Tinkle, Wimple the Pixie, and Mr. Dumps the Policeman. This book tells the story of a mean gnome in the Lemon Village that goes by the name Ho Ho and lived in the Marigold Cottage. While digging in his garden one afternoon, he discovers a silver penny and this delights him no end until he inspects it more closely and discovers it's a bad penny hardly worth more than a falcon. Unlike the common coins, the silver penny moves from pillar to pillar. Mother Pops also makes an appearance in the story, as does Mr. Dumps. Currently, the coin is in a wimple's pocket and becomes disturbed to travel much further. The readers might be able to judge what might eventually happen. In my opinion, I think that this book is very enjoyable and full of moral values. I like this book and it teaches me many important life lessons. The moral of the story is the bad behavior will reflect against us. But every single time I read this book, it will put a smile on my face. I have read this book countless times whenever I feel bored during the MCO session. This book is very light and easy to bring anywhere and the pictures in the book is very pleasing. I highly recommend this book for the fiction and fairy tale lovers. It's an honor to me to share with you this kind of books. 